we've done it again. So we are now the proud owners of not one, not two, but three Lexi. Absolute nuggets. Say Ruben, you guys can just call us DJ Coward. Another one. <laughs> so now we play a game. We have three Lexi. Each one of them has a different engine in it. So you already know the blue Lexus. If you haven't been watching, guess what it is. It's a little bit out of frame. I reckon before we even get to showing you guys what is in this, leave in the comments what you guys think it is. Now, if you guess correctly, you get nothing. We'll like your comment. But yeah, blue Lexus is the same as most of our other swaps. If you don't know what that is, then what, what are you doing with your life? Come on. We should mention that two of these cars are rollers at the moment. So we have been sweating, pushing these things around, <laughs> trying to get them into this position for an intro. So go ahead and sub just for that. If you click off, we'll come find you. So this one does have parts not missing. It's here, we have everything, but it's not complete at the moment. As you can see, everything right now is quick release. All right, last entries, trying to guess what this is. And it's over. God's motor. You can smell the oil and broken dreams. You can smell it through the camera. So if you didn't guess this, I don't know what to tell you. I think you have The most important question of all, what color should we paint the Tapa Cup? If you guys actually have been watching the previous videos, we have had a bit of experience with SR20s. But I reckon we get it into the shop and crack down on some finer details. Yeah, all right, let's do it. This car did come with a few fruity parts, such as we got a Pulsar G25 550, brand new 45 mil wastegate, a six boost high mount manifold. It already is a high mount manifold on there with a 40 mil wastegate. Obviously we're gonna go six boost, but just as it is, there's a lot of fruity bits on here already. Straight off the bat, you've got a Blitz intercooler, all the piping's done. They somehow managed to fit the bash bar on there, which I'm still looking at it like there's some wizardry going on here because I can't get mine to fit. SR20 VCT, it already has multi-layer steel head gasket, ARP studs. We're pretty sure it's got injectors. That's the temp sensor there for the ECU. So talking about ECU, this is running a Power FC. The D Jet Jetro, Jetro, I, I don't know. So it's the mathless edition, so it uses map sensor and temp sensor. Other fruity parts like split fire coil packs. You know what's funny? For years now, I thought for the longest time they were Spitfire. Anyway, it's not that that's relevant, but it's also got S15 brakes on the front. The shell out of the three Lexuses, I think this one's probably the best. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I was saying before, I've inspected five IS200s in the past few months, bought four of them, one for a mate. Um, and this is by far the cleanest example. There's no rust. If you've been watching the blue Lexus videos, you know the boot is horrendous. Um, and that's the usual spot, the green one has it as well. This is completely clean, so it's actually so straight. It's a really nice chassis. This is actually anomalous media car. It's not like Ruben's or it's not like mine or... You guys can watch the transformation. So diving into the SR20 IS200, what I might start doing today is just taking off this old manifold. We got a brand new six boost that came with it plus a wastegate. Um, take that off and yeah, start cleaning some things up. Hopefully get this thing looking a bit better. How fast this boy? I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast this boy. I've gone ahead and done the body loom. Um, by the way, this is how the stock loom sits and how it's sat in the blue Lexus. But yeah, that's back in. Because this car is probably gonna get swapped again in the future, spoiler alert. Something unique actually, which I haven't seen swapped into these before, is a, hey bro, what's required? Like, how does it sit? Asking all these questions, so it's, it's coming. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably do all that next time, but for now, we wanna focus on getting the car running um, as neat and as quick as possible. But uh, yeah, let me show you the rest of the wiring. Imagine having a boot that actually pivots and doesn't need to be <laughs> unlatched and carried. Um, but yeah, so this is um, what we were left with. What are we doing with ABS? No one needs ABS. 
Last look at the blue Lexus with those dookie ass wheels on it. Next video, we're chucking some fresh shoes on. So let me know in the comments what you want to see on that. I'm leaning towards RPF ones, but if you come up with a banger suggestion, I might swap it out. So let me know. It sounds so good. So loud. In here, maybe. When you're in the car, it's not that loud. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> uh, anyway, so last you saw this, this was basically complete. We've just gone ahead and hacked into it, started doing a bunch of little things. Um, covers getting painted, we're replacing gaskets and freshening it up. We're getting a dump pipe made. Um, same with the intake side, gaskets and all that goodness. We're getting 850cc injectors. Do you want to show them your paint job? No. Yes, let's show them. No, let's not because... Th we'll say Merrick painted it. Yeah, so as you can see, and as you know, Merrick has really good experience with orange peels. I reckon his lunchbox at work is just orange, orange peels. peels. Yeah, like half time at a soft game. Am I like specky? I mean, I am, but like... What the f... <laughs> Do the outro. Ruben, what do you say? Ruben sucks at doing outros as well. Get out of the frame! So yeah, this is our next project. It's the IS200 SR20 swaps. I'm taking over because Mel's house. No, I'm kidding. Um, the camera just cut out halfway through Mel's thing and I only noticed when I was editing. Before we go anywhere, I was not present when this was done. <laughs> it's your fault and you know it. It's the last straw, Merrick. I just get told, hey Merrick, we need to get it blasted again. <laughs> There's still some red on it. <laughs> I was so furious. I was like, I, you literally inspected it. And you were like, yeah, that's sick. Well, in my defense, I went, tell him there's still some red on it and then send him a photo. And he just said, bro, I messaged Brad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Brad. <laughs> no, it's his fault. Reimburse us. We're just waiting for a few more parts to finalize this and sort out this junk. Yeah, so actually, once that's done, everything should run, and then it's just a matter of refreshing the gaskets and just making everything pretty and yeah. operational again. Obviously, it's a different turbo, so even if there is a tune on the existing Power FC, it's probably not gonna run as good. It'll idle fine. We're getting bigger injectors as well. I'm gonna go pick those up, hopefully this week. Yeah, so it's not too far off. Uh, which is odd because this is the first video it's actually been in. Yeah, so less waiting time for you, more skids, more quickly. Yes. There is something which you can't flip the camera and show them, but there is another, there is a lot of parts that have rocked up, so. Rightio, hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you haven't made it to this point, you don't know, but we're coming for you. And if you have made it to this point, we do appreciate you guys. You're safe for another week. <laughs> Unless you've just skipped through the video to the end. Yeah. In which case, <laughs> if you think about it right, you've got the subscribe button and the like button. It's a button. How many buttons do you push on your phone a day? I don't want to hit this subscribe button. Yeah. It's scary. Shut up. I'm coming for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. When you said, <laughs> when you rub me. Okay. Stop scratching your nuts. I can smell it for you. <laughs> oh.